Hello and welcome to the Product Biz Podcast. My name is Monica Little and I'm your host and I am so excited for today's episode for a couple of reasons. So number one, I'm actually behind the mic talking to you. It has been a little bit of time since I've been here. I have just been having so many amazing guests and conversations and interviews that I've been putting up on the Product Biz Podcast. So some of these solo episodes have kind of gone a little bit neglected maybe um, just because I've had so many great conversations trying to get those episodes out and really have just been so swamped with things of my own in my own businesses, working on so many things that I've just been pushing out those interviews instead of actually pausing to show up here myself. So I'm actually thrilled, super excited to be back here talking to you directly one-on-one in today's episode. I'm also really excited about today's episode because it is a little bit of a different episode. We are going to be talking about my coaching journey and my coach that I work with and a really fun exclusive offer and partnership with my coach that is available until June. Let me look at my calendar this Thursday, which is June 15th. So I'm going to talk to you about my coaching journey and my coach, James Wedmore and his program program, Business by Design. And I have a special interview with him that hopefully my podcast editor will be able to extract the audio and plop it into the podcast where I ask him about what advice he would give for coaches, entrepreneurs that are really trying to get their program out there, but aren't seeing the results that they want. And then at the end of this episode, I'm going to talk you through a super fun bonus that I'm offering with James Wedmore's Business by Design that is launching Monday, June 12th as we speak until Thursday, June 15th. And I'm offering a special bonus called the Authority Bootcamp for those that sign up for James Wedmore's Business by Design and then you'll get access to what I have to offer too. So before we get into all that fun stuff, like this is going to be such a great episode. I hope you're just excited as me. This is definitely going to be an episode geared towards the coach. So if you are a coach, perfect. Love that you're here. This is going to be a great episode for you. Now, if you are someone who's thought of being a coach, who maybe wants to be an educator, who maybe wants to create a program, who maybe wants to coach others on some sort of skill or expertise that you have, beautiful. This is going to be a great episode for you too. Or if you're just like, okay, Monica, I want to know a little bit more on what you do behind the scenes now, because we hear a lot about plant-based beauty, how that was grown. We hear a lot about Etsy, but what are you really working on behind the scenes? What has it been like growing your coaching business? Well, I'm going to spill, spill some details on that. So if you're interested in that, then please stick around. So I'm kind of like totally spitballing this episode too. And it's so funny when I was recording a lot of solo episodes, I was so good at just randomly going through topics and now I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I going to talk about? (laughs) How do I make this make sense? How do I make this cohesive? So we're just going to dive in and we're just going to see how it goes, where this conversation takes us. But really what I want to start out with is just telling you a little bit more about my journey as a coach, how I really got started and how I got to where I am now, because I finally feel like I'm in a place probably in the last like three months, two to three months where things are growing exponentially. It took me a while to get here. It took about a year, year and a half to get here. But I now feel like I have all these solid foundations in place that now it's just all about exposure. Now it's all about going on other people's podcasts and getting my name out there, getting in front of new people, sharing the message that I want to share, impacting people, letting them know about Etsy and why it's great for established small business owners. This is really where I'm at with my business, but it took me a little bit of time to get here. So I really want to take you a quick couple minute journey of how I decided to become a coach and how I got to where I am now. So it's super interesting because I, I haven't really addressed this on the podcast openly. I think those who are in my programs or those who are in my world know this, but I never really addressed the elephant in the room of plant-based beauty and how I actually closed plant-based beauty when I moved to Arizona about eight months ago. So where the story really begins, we're going to go back a little bit to about a year and a half, maybe two years ago. And this is another part of my journey that maybe you guys do or don't know. So I started plant-based beauty when I was working at my full-time job. This is like three and a half years ago. We're going way back. I started plant-based beauty when I was working my full-time job and it was a hobby. 
it kind of took off. I was talking about it on Instagram. I put it up on Etsy. All of a sudden, people were buying it, messaging me, DMing me. And I was like, oh my gosh, this actually has something to it. So while I was working at my corporate job, this was all happening. And I decided to, okay, actually like take this seriously and see what I can turn it into. Because while I was at my corporate job, I knew that's not where I wanted to be. I knew I didn't want to work in a corporate office for the next 40 years of my life until I retire. But I also didn't know what else I was meant to do. So I was just experimenting with hobbies, with passions, reading books, trying new things and organic skincare, something that I became really passionate about. I started sharing about and started to get orders for. And about six months in when I was working my full-time job and taking plant-based beauty seriously to actually grow it, I came across quite the conundrum of not having enough time to grow my small business. A lot of people ask me when I left my full-time job if it was because plant-based beauty was now bringing in the same amount of money as my salary and it's so funny because it wasn't even close. Plant-based beauty was not even close to my corporate salary but physically I couldn't do both things. I couldn't work 40, 50, 60 hours a week at my corporate job where I was managing people, where I was traveling to Europe, where I was traveling within the US and also grow my small business because I had these dreams of my small business. I wanted it to grow. I had this vision. It was picking up momentum. And when you're working 40, 50, 60 hours elsewhere, it gets really hard to grow your own small business. And I was even, you know, while I was at my job, I would sneak away for an hour and work on Instagram posts. But to me, that felt like super, super icky. I didn't want to do that. Then I felt like an awful employee. And and I just hated not having enough time for my small business that it led me to do stuff like that. So I came to the decision that, you know what, I'm going to leave my full-time job after doing this tango for about six months. Um, that I would leave my full-time job and give myself a year with plant-based beauty to see what happened. And I knew that, number one, if I needed to get another full-time job, like if I took this big risk and I left my corporate job to run plant-based beauty and it didn't work out, well, worst case scenario, I have a pretty good resume. I had a pretty great corporate job. I'm pretty sure I could get hired elsewhere if push came to shove. So I had that in my back pocket as a little bit of reassurance and ended up leaving my corporate job to run plant-based beauty. Now that year, I left my corporate job January 1st, I think this was 2020. And of course, a lovely pandemic happened a few months later, which just turned everything upside down, especially for small business owners. And later in that year, around October, I actually met up with a friend who was also a small business owner, and we decided to open a retail store together. And this was called the Chicago Makers Pop-Up Shop. It was a three-month pop-up for the holiday season because of COVID, because a lot of small businesses were struggling, because markets were closed. My friend found the space. It was a three-month pop-up lease. We rented it out, and we brought in 30 small businesses to sell their products in that store. And that store just took off. It was so successful. It was absolutely amazing that we decided to then continue on for the next year, 2021, I think is where we're now talking. So I was running plant-based beauty, simultaneously running a store with my business partner. And while we were running the store, we talked to so many local Chicago small business owners. And it was so crazy how many things that they said that they struggled with. I heard the same things over and over and over of the things that they struggled with and, and where they were spending most of their time and and how they weren't making the progress that they wanted. And from my perspective, at that point, my first year, I had hit six figures with plant-based beauty when I was working for plant-based beauty full-time. And when I started to hear all of these things that people were saying and these hurdles and these struggles, I was like, oh my gosh, what they're saying that they struggle with came so easy to me because I went to school for business. I worked in corporate offices for eight years. I worked in marketing, customer loyalty operations. I went to school for logistics, procurement operations. These are things that literally, once hearing what people were struggling with, helped me so much with my own business. And from my perspective, I thought what I knew was just what everyone knew. And I was like, okay, this is super interesting that people actually could use the knowledge that I have. So let me see what can happen. And at that point in time, my business partner and I, I was running plant-based beauty by myself. We were running the store together and we were like, let's do this coaching program 
together and help these small business owners. And I remember when we first launched Product Biz Academy, it was actually called Chicago Makers Academy at that point in time. And we sold out. We had, I think, 10 or 12 people sign up. This was something that we were just blown away. And as soon as I started coaching, I knew that that's what I was meant to do. It's super interesting because as this is like the second year of me working for Plant-Based Beauty full-time, running the store, and now starting this coaching program, two years since I left my full-time job, I realized that what I was meant to do this entire time was to be a coach. And I really had struggled because yes, I grew Plant-Based Beauty to six figures, but I loved the business side of it. I loved problem solving. I loved figuring things out. I loved optimizing platforms. Like give me a problem and let me solve it. I love that. That is like my favorite thing to do. And as I started to grow plant-based beauty more and more and more, some of those things started to fall away because as you get more sales, you're mastering these projects. You're learning how to master Etsy and Fair and Instagram and your website and all that fun stuff. And I really started to lose a little bit of passion with plant-based beauty. Simultaneously, while this massive passion for coaching just started to grow. And long story short, my business partner and I, at that point in time, we ran the store for that full year. We ended up opening two other pop-up stores for that second holiday season. We ran the coaching program together. And then I think this is now 2022, around April, we decided that there were just going to be some major changes with a lot of the things that we were doing. So I decided to actually take Product Biz Academy myself and my business partner decided to take the storefront herself. We kind of realized like what we really enjoyed and where our strengths were and it was a very mutual decision to kind of take things a little bit separate. So now we're talking about April 2022. So a little bit over a year ago, I officially was owning Plant. Oh, oh my gosh, here I go mixing it up. I was officially owning Product Base Academy, the coaching program all on my own. And it's super interesting because once that hit, now it was a little bit It was different for me, right? Like when you have a business partner with something and now you're doing it on your own, you're pretty much starting from square one right off the bat. So I really think of Product Biz Academy and Etsy Algorithm Secrets, their starting point as April of 2022. So a little bit over a year ago. And as I think about what has happened in the last year, it's been absolutely incredible. It has been so much work in terms of building the foundations, like the fun stuff, building Instagram learning how to connect with your audience, building a website, building webinars, learning what your audience really struggles with and what transformation they want to see and how can you serve them? How can you get them to that transformation that they want? And the last year has just been so much learning, so much learning and me diving even further into this passion of coaching. Now, what happened when I moved to Arizona in September of 2022 is that I had a little bit of a catalyst because at that point in time, I was running Plant-Based Beauty by myself and I was running Product Biz Academy and Etsy Algorithm Secrets by myself. And with the move to Arizona from Chicago, I had an opportunity to honestly just purge a lot of things. So when you're making a big move like that, like you purge in your house, you throw things away that you don't need. If you're driving a U-Haul for 36 hours, you better be pretty dang selective on what you're bringing with you. And I ended up donating and getting rid of just so many things at home. And I came up with the tough decision for myself too of what do I do with plant-based beauty? And it's so funny, as I take you along this full journey, when I was leaving my full-time job, the biggest hurdle for me was, but this is steady income. I can rely on it. I actually enjoy my job. I like my boss. It's not what I'm like meant to do. It's not my passion, but I get to travel. The people I work with are great. Some of the work is good. Some of the work kind of sucks. But for me, it was pretty hard to leave that sure paycheck that was coming in every other week. And as we started to get closer and closer to moving to Arizona, I realized that that same exact situation was happening to me again, but now with plant-based beauty. Now plant-based beauty was my full-time job that brought in a lot of money that was like a pretty sure paycheck coming in. And I realized it and kind of laughed at myself like, oh, I'm learning this lesson again of Go after your dreams. Go after what lights you up. Don't hold on to things just because it's bringing you money if you're not passionate about it. Because sure, it may bring you some money, but 
you've heard me say this in the podcast before, money doesn't bring happiness if you're doing something that no longer aligns with you or if you're doing something just for the money. And I had such a big passion for coaching that this move to Arizona was just like, okay, I have a separate studio space for all of my plant-based beauty items. I have a team that's coming in person to make my products, pack my products, drop them off. I have a ton of ingredients and raw materials and products. If I want to replicate this in Arizona, I'm going to have to get a massive U-Haul to carry all this stuff. I'm going to have to find a second studio space in Arizona to house all this stuff. And I'm going to start from scratch with a team of makers and packers and all that fun stuff. And to me, it was just like, this is a moment where I really need to go 100% into my coaching business. So leading up to the move for a couple months, I did a massive push to sell almost all of my inventory. And I would say 90% of my inventory, I sold off. And I had a massive push to sell like the tables and the industrial shelving and all the equipment that I used. And you know, when you're doing something that's meant for you, when it comes so easy, I was like, wow, all of these things, people want to buy them and take everything off of my plate. So I got rid of almost all my inventory, got rid of all of my supplies, all of my utensils, all of my shelving, and moved to Arizona with just a little bit of product left that since then I have completely sold out of. So I haven't really talked about that, but that's basically how I got to where I am today of the last seven or eight months fully focusing on coaching. And it has been so fulfilling, extremely scary because I cut off my income. I've had some crazy days where I'm like, why did I do that? Because I'm pretty much building another business from scratch, which businesses take time to be built. It's not going to be instant income. But I've really persevered over the last eight months and it's been such an amazing journey to lead me here. Now, If we talk about Etsy Algorithm Secrets and Product Based Academy, I've served over 160 members in my programs and I have over 2,000 followers on Instagram now and an engaged following and people who I just love to interact with and my clients are phenomenal and they're seeing amazing results and I truly love what I do. And if you were to ask me like, oh my gosh, Monica, how did you make this pivot and how have you grown your programs and how have you gotten to where you are today? I can say without a shadow of a doubt, there has been two things. Number one, believing in myself. You need that no matter what you do. You have to build that belief in yourself. But And this is something that's so crazy. People, I can see so blatantly when someone doesn't believe in themselves. And I don't know if people think That is just something that happens, but believing in yourself is a skill, like learning to believe in what you're doing, learning to believe in yourself every single day, learning to not take sales or results personally, and to believe in yourself no matter what you are or aren't seeing physically, tangibly, that is a skill. So that skill has to be cultivated for no matter what you do. And believing in myself was the number one way that I've been able to leave my full-time job in my corporate career and also completely pivot and leave my extremely successful small business to now be a coach. But the second thing that led me to where I am today with Product Biz Academy and Etsy Algorithm Secrets without a shadow of a doubt is working with my business coach, James Wedmore. I have been working with him for about two years now and it has been the most impactful way to grow my business, to get it to where it's at today. Because you don't realize like how much goes into a coaching business. Growing a product business, oh my gosh, so much easier in my opinion because there's a couple platforms you got to manage and then you got to go on Instagram and you got your website and it's like, all right, like this is pretty easy. When you think about a coaching program, when you're selling something that's thousands and thousands of dollars, there's so much more that goes into it because it's not a $20 face mask that people can buy and if they don't like it, cool, or if they do like it, great. When you're asking people to invest $3,000 into a program to work with you, there's a lot of freaking work that goes behind it in terms of the messaging to get them to actually enroll, to see the value in it, the deliverable, the deliverability of it in terms of being a good teacher, which a lot of people don't know how to be a good teacher, and also the coaching side of it, which is how do you coach people when they are in your program and not seeing results, struggling, having mindset issues, and looking back from two years ago, I've definitely grown in that way too, and I'm continuing to grow as a coach. And these three components in terms of your messaging, in terms of your teaching, in terms of your coaching, and then in terms of your exposure, right? How do you get in front of all those people? 
These are some of the components that I have 100% learned through James Wedmore's Business by Design program. And if you are a coach listening to this, I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt that I will work with James for the rest of my coaching career, however long this business is around for. Because his program gives you the step-by-step, by step-by-step details on how to build, how to grow, how to scale your business. Now, if we want to talk about some specifics that I have learned through James Wedmore's Business by Design program, which, by the way, is open for enrollment once per year from June 12th to June 15th. Right as we are speaking right now, it's open for enrollment. But if you want to talk about some of the tactical things that I've learned from James, I don't even know where to begin. Someone asked me this question yesterday when I was just doing a a connection networking call. And they're like, so tell me exactly what are the main things from James that you've learned that you loved? One of the things that I said was messaging. So many coaches that I follow that I see just don't know how to talk to people who are in their target audience. So when you talk about messaging your program, so many people focus on the tools. Like, here's what you get. Here's what you get. You get a group. You get people, you get guest experts. You get a Facebook group. You get one-on-one calls. And the biggest thing that I learned from James is number one, people don't care about the tools. They care about the transformation. What is your program going to give them? What do they want? What are, what are they literally like crying about at night that you can solve and that you can message them in a way that shows them that you know the struggles they're going through and here's how you can solve it by working with me because you're going to transform in XYZ way when we start to work together. And James lays, James lays out his messaging framework in such a way where you know how to conduct surveys with your target audience, to start to see the words that they use, to start to see how can you communicate and message them using those words so you guys are all on the same page and that you are showing them the value that your program brings. You know, there's so many coaches out there that focus on the tools, the tactics. They focus on, here's what you're going to learn in my webinar. You're going to learn how to make sure you are profitable and how to make sure that you are growing. And it's like, that's not what people want. That's not. And if you look at some of my messaging, I mean, if you go to my Etsy algorithm secret sales page and see how I'm talking to my members, how I'm speaking to the people that are interested, I know what they want. I know the transformation they want. I know the problems that they're experiencing. And I know that my program will solve those so I can message them and communicate to them in a way that when they read that sales page, they're like, oh my God, Monica, you're in my head. That's exactly what I was thinking. That's exactly what I was feeling. And then they feel connected to you. And this can be hard as a coach because Obviously, ourselves, we've gone through these problems and issues. So when I think back to myself at Etsy, like I obviously struggled with Etsy as I was getting ramped up too, but that was like three or four years ago. So it's hard for me sometimes to recollect the thoughts and feelings and emotions that I had three or four years ago when I was starting to be on Etsy. So I think as coaches, because we've persevered and overcame those hurdles, sometimes it's hard for us to think back on like how to talk about those hurdles and what we were experiencing ourselves when we are so much further than that right now. So James talks you through how to message and connect with your actual people. This is the biggest thing. A lot of people think they have a pricing problem, like their course is too expensive, their course is too expensive. And James tells you right away, if someone says this program sounds like a good fit, I don't have the money right now. It's not actually a money problem. It's a value problem. It's a messaging problem. They don't see the value in it. They're not connected to you enough. You're not using the right words in the right language that they don't think this is actually going to help them. So a lot of coaches, what they do is number one, they hear people say, oh, this is out of budget. This is out of budget. And they don't realize it's it's a messaging problem. Or number two, they decrease their prices and then they're offering things for like $40 or $10 or $100 or $200. And it's like, listen, you need to value the amazing expertise that you bring and you need to just learn how to message it so people understand the transformation that they're going to get from working with you and value yourself appropriately. Similar to how with our products, we have to value our products so we're actually making money. Same exact thing goes with when you're running a coaching business. So messaging was a huge thing that I learned from Business by Design. The second most impactful thing that I learned from Business by Design is now how do you actually take your messaging and also create a webinar, some sort of launch mechanism to get people to learn about your program. Now, the cool thing about Business by Design is James gives you, I think it's 11 execution guides. So if you wanna launch a membership, 
if you want to launch with a live webinar, if you want to launch with a challenge, whatever way that you launch your program in terms of telling your audience that something is open for a limited amount of time and here's how you enroll and here's how I'm going to talk about it and educate you about it before you can enroll. Any way that you do that is explained within James's BBD program. So for me personally, I do the live webinar launch for Product Biz Academy. So once a year, I am doing a webinar launch and James talks you through exactly, number one, what your webinar should be about. Because your webinar isn't just teaching, but your webinar also isn't just selling. Your webinar is taking people on a journey of where they are to where they want to be, outlining the framework of how to get there. So they start to see, oh, this is what I'm missing. This is what I haven't done. This is where I can, that I have room to grow. And you're really educating them at a very high level so they understand the picture. We're not getting into the nitty gritty. We are doing some teaching in these webinars. I mean, if you watch my Etsy algorithm secrets, uh, how to get your product seen on Etsy webinar, you'll see me doing it of teaching, sharing, getting people enrolled in the vision, getting them to see what mistakes they're making, getting them to see some easy things that they can do themselves, but also, hey, there's going to be a little more work that you may need a coach to help you alongside. So he talks you through the whole execution of any type of launch that you do. So for Product Biz Academy, I do a live webinar once a year. And for Etsy Algorithm Secrets, I actually have an evergreen funnel, which people can watch my training and enroll whenever they want. And both of those I've learned from James, the full execution from what to say at the webinar to how to plan it, when to launch it, how long to have your cart open for and the emails to send before the emails to send after the sales page all of those details are in business by design so we talked about messaging we talked about the webinar and the last thing that i'll say about business by design because there's so much that goes into this program i could honestly be here for hours talking about it and truth be told i've been in his world for about two years and i've probably gone through five percent of the course because there's so much information that you can continue to go back to but you really just got to go in and get what you need and execute on it and then continue to evolve which is exactly what i've been doing but the third thing that i'll say that has been so impactful with james and his program is that it's not just a business course you get so much from james because he talks about money mindset He talks about energetics. He talks about fear of failure. He talks about fear of being judged. He talks about fear of success. These are the things that most people don't realize actually hold them back. And he does such a phenomenal job of coaching you and showing up as such a phenomenal coach and leader and thought leader and and mentor that not only do you evolve because he gets to the root cause, the beliefs that are underneath the issue, but you get to see a beautiful example of a phenomenal coach. And you get to learn how to be a phenomenal coach yourself. And I can say without a shadow of a doubt, the reason why my members, number one, see the results that they do. And number two, stick around in my programs for years. I have a couple of clients that have been working with me the full two years since I've launched my program. And a lot of my clients, I would say a good portion of them, 25% of my Etsy algorithm secrets members end up working with me in product Biz Academy. And that's exactly what James shows you how to do is how to be a good coach, how to get your clients to get results, how to help coach them through their own mindset issues, which is a huge part of being a product business coach and how to demonstrate to them what needs to be done So they see the results and so they continue to want to work with you. So in the last two years, I've had over 160 members across my two programs. And it has been been such a beautiful, beautiful journey. And I'm just so grateful to be working alongside James because I honestly started working with him when Product Biz Academy first launched when I had my business partner. We signed up pretty much right away because we're like, okay, this is uncharted territories. What are we doing? We need some support. And I'm so thankful that we started working with James and that I've continued to work with James on my own because I know there are a lot of coaches out there for coaches, like coaches for coaches like James is, that maybe aren't giving the right support, the right details, the right context, the right expertise. And James is a phenomenal coach, a phenomenal teacher, a phenomenal leader, and his program 
not even kidding, is the only program that you need because I talked about messaging in webinar and launches, but there's so much more in there. There's sales pages, there's Facebook ads, there's all of these different components that you need to run your business. There's hiring, there's every single thing that you need. And that is why I'm so excited to just talk about James Wedmore, how much his program has impacted me. So what I want to do now, if my podcast editor can can do this for me, which I'm going to hope and pray because I have a clip with James Wedmore from when I was in Sedona a couple months ago and I asked him a couple questions specifically for the product business coach advice he would give to the coach who's maybe coming out with a lot of new programs over and over and over trying to find the right one or advice to the coach who maybe is undercutting themselves coming out with offers and reducing their price over and over just to finally get some clients in when really the price isn't the problem. So I'm going to turn it over to this eight minute Q&A with the one and only James Wedmore. And if you don't know James, I've talked a little bit about business by design, but James is an eight figure per year online entrepreneur and business owner. And he works with coaches, course creators, online educators to help them grow and scale their coaching programs and their courses. So he is an expert in what he does. He's been running his own online business for over 14 years. He has a phenomenal team. I think it's about eight people who he works with that are just absolutely phenomenal as he's grown his own business and built his team. So you're going to hear a little bit from him directly over the next next eight minutes. And then I want to come back and mention a super exclusive bonus that I am offering if you sign up for Business by Design this week before Thursday, June 15th at midnight, which is called the Authority Bootcamp. So a little teaser, and then we'll jump back into that. So James, I have a question for you. Okay. I noticed a lot of product-based business coaches really struggle with coming out with an offer. Maybe you're not performing as well as they would like. So they come out with another offer mm-hmm. and they kind of get stuck in this hamster wheel. So what advice would you give them for someone going through this situation? Each offer is like a direction we're going to go, right? And there's really two things we need to look at. Number one is, is am I going in the right direction? That is harder to know sometimes. I mean, I've been in the wrong niche. I've gone down directions. I was like, I, I'm going down the wrong direction. But what I what I always like to tell people, if there is some sort of like trust, knowing maybe a sense of purpose and excitement that like, no, this is what I want to do, um, that we want to keep following that. But as you start and put that first offer out there, Chances are you don't have a decade of experience. You don't have the 10,000 hours under your belt. So the first time you do it, there's a good chance it's not going to be wildly successful. It doesn't mean it doesn't happen, but I'm always, uh, I always see myself as the tortoise and the tortoise and the hare. Like the tortoise wins that race because not just because he's slow and steady, but because he was willing to consistently put one foot in front of the other to improve what you already have. And a lot of times when an, our offer product program, whatever we put out there in the world doesn't work, it's just a copy problem, which means it's just a, a marketing positioning problem. It's less what we're selling as an issue and more how we sell it, how we talk about it, how we convey the value. Uh, maybe it's an objection that we didn't address. Maybe it's a bonus that we didn't highlight or an outcome or transformation that we didn't really bring home or land. And that takes time to workshop and work through. So I would say, make sure you've done everything that you possibly can to improve and honor your offer and communicate at the highest value possible before you say, I'm going to go try something else. Because rarely does something work and be a home run the first time we put it out there. Yeah, I love it. Thank you. That's such yeah. perfect advice. And that's something too that I really learned through BBD mm. is actually sticking with one thing yeah. and tweaking it and adjusting the messaging and continuing to go through it instead of trying something, quote unquote, fail yeah. when truly maybe it didn't and yeah. then pivoting. So I love how you mentioned that. I, I think it's important in, in many ways. I have a quote I say over and over again. And it's, a, it's a quote I live by. The less I do, the more I make. And The opposite of that quote is if you want to work more, if you want to be busier, create more offers, create more products. And what people don't really tend to understand because they get stuck in this trap of I created something and it made some money. Now what? I'll create something else and make some more money. And then you wake up one day and you got 15 businesses and 15 directions and 
you're creating and improving and changing 15 different things and not even putting it out there, selling it or getting new customers from it. And what I really want people to understand is you can take one product to seven figures. We have students who do it all the time. I have students that have $30 a month memberships that are multi-million dollars. And I believe that it's at multi-million dollars, not because, oh, what's their niche? Oh, what is it that they're doing? And I'll just copy that. But because they chose that niche, that direction and that offer, and they were willing to obsess and work on it until they unlocked the right way to say it, the right way to get the yes. And now, because they've been doing it for years, and, and, and it's 2016 when I met this person and they had this idea for this membership, and it probably took four years to get to two million, but that's all they did for two years. Mm -hmm. And you can take, I really want everyone to know that, you can take one offer to seven figures a year um, if you do it right. And if you keep, if you're willing to keep, keep working on it and, and, um, and mastering it and improving it. Yeah. yeah. I love that. Thank cool. you so much. One you're more welcome. question for you. Of course, if we let's have, do it. If we have time. Yeah. So uh, I know some other product business coaches have been in other programs or worked with other people. So I'd love to hear from you what makes business by design different than potentially working with someone else. Well, you know, this is where I'll just like, I'll brag about myself for just, for just a moment. Um, and, um, and that's hard to do, but I've been doing this for a very long time and there's a theme that people, um, repeat back to me. And I want to, I want to state what they, they say back to me and they'll say, James, I've taken other programs. I've gone through other stuff, but business by design was the one where it finally all clicked, came together and I went and got results. And I don't know necessarily what that is or why that is, but that's what I focus on. That to me is all that matters is that, is that I get my students results and I, and we do it fast. And so, um, I think, if I had to guess, it's because predominantly the program is based on action taking than just learning. Mm -hmm. And I think that becomes the tricky thing with um, probably a lot of these coaches is they've been in consumption and student mode and we stay stuck in student mode. And then what happens is the more you're learning, the more you start to realize how much you don't know. Mm -hmm. And then a new belief sets in, which is, I'll do it. I'll do this thing once I've learned enough and it's never enough. And then you learn more of what you need to know that you don't already know that you think you have to go and learn before you can go. And I just think that's utter bullshit. And we offer processes, SOPs, what we call the Lego instruction manual, step-by-step -step blueprints where there's no way to get value from them unless you use them, which means you have to take that first step, then the second step, then the third, but it's all there, right there in front of you, step by step by step by step. And that forces our students to do it or not. And so I'll sit there and I'll say, I'll go to a student on a call and I'll say, what was your, what was your 90 day goal? And they'll say, it was to make this money. I say, and, and what was the process that you were gonna run to hit that? And they'll say this and I'll say, did you do it? And they go, no. And I say, well, there you go. Right. And if they said yes, I said, great. How'd it go? And, and, you know, obviously you have people that say I exceeded my goal. I hit my goal or I, I came short of it, but no matter what they did it and them doing it produced a result with numbers that gives us data that informs what we need to do differently moving forward. And it's never go create another product, go in a different yep. direction. Right. It's all like, here's what was missing. Here's where you lost people. Here's what you need to change. And through the experience of doing, we get the clarity to improve our results. And I love this, qu this quote, which is why this is so important. Um, I, I've been saying it t for years. I know you've heard it where people are waiting for clarity before they take action, but it's action that creates clarity. And that's because you can't move a parked car. And so we have to get into action and BBD forces us to be in action to even use it here do these three things today you didn't do it you can't continue you can't go across go you can't get your 200 dollars. so you have to be in action to get results you have to be in action to see the value of, of bbd so it is for people that are ready to produce results which means they got to be ready to get in the game yeah awesome thank yeah. you so much james yeah thank you monica
So bringing it back to the discussion that we have here, I just want to highlight what James said. Those are some of the key components that shifted how I run my business, shifted how I show up for my coaching business and shifted how I grow my coaching business and take it from the 10 million plus per year entrepreneur, James himself, on what it takes to really grow your business. And if some of that conversation wasn't comfortable for you, well, beautiful. That means you're growing, you're shifting perspectives, you are seeing something new which is truly what growth is all about. So like I mentioned, James Wenmore's Business by Design program is open for enrollment June 12th to 15th, 2023. These next four days only, Thursday the 15th, doors close at midnight. And this is a once per year chance for you to join in on Business by Design. And this is something I recommend to any coach, educator, course creator, online entrepreneur. Now, you've heard me talk about how much I enjoy BBD, how much I've learned from BBD, how I attribute almost all of my success to James and BBD. And I do not think I would be where I am right now without him and his program. So what I have here, which I'm so excited to announce is a bonus offer for you to join Business by Design. I am an affiliate for his program this year, which means if you sign up using the link that I provide, you get my bonuses 100% free. And the bonus that I'm offering to you today is called the Authority Bootcamp. And I am so jazzed about this. The Authority Bootcamp is all about you stepping out of being your industry's best kept secret and stepping into your authority and your highest level of impact with this exclusive business by design bonus. Now, what is the Authority Bootcamp? And how will it help you as a coach? How does this work in conjunction with business by design? Well, truly the authority bootcamp, what this does is a way for you to stand out, grow your audience and make the biggest impact by gaining massive visibility and stepping into your authority. So you get your message in front of more people and become a hell yes for your ideal clients. James's program business by design is going to tell you how to build that business, how to get in front of people how to grow, how to scale, how to message, how to launch, how to lead a team, how to be a better coach. And the authority bootcamp that I am offering exclusively if you enroll in BBD is all about amplifying your authority, showing up as a leader, showing up as a thought leader, showing up as a go-to person by shifting people's perspectives by the words that you say, how you show up, your branding, all of these components included. So let me give you a little bit more background as to why I created this. So the law of preeminence, this is kind of like the law of attraction, the law of gravity, the law of vibration, the law of preeminence. This is a universal law. And what this law says is that people will only buy from those that they see as an authority. People will not buy something if they don't see that person or that company or that coach as the authority figure, as the go-to person, as the person who's lived and breathed experience is going to benefit them. And I don't need to tell you that digital products, courses, and coaching programs don't create demand or authority for themselves. So if you want to make a bigger impact by helping more people, changing their lives, if you want to get in front of more audiences to share your message, to share your knowledge that will help so many people, if you want to grow your business and make a difference in the world, the key is to be seen as an authority. Once you're seen as an authority, then the podcast interviews, the invitation to speak on stages, the massive Instagram growth in terms of followers and engagement, and the growth and clients will follow. Now, how this authority bootcamp comes to life is I'm going to tell you the last six months for me, I've been featured on over 20 podcasts. I've been a special guest inside six memberships. I've participated as a speaker and presenter in three virtual summits. My Instagram audience has doubled while remaining extremely engaged. I spoke on my very first stage at an in-person conference in front of over 200 attendees and the number of clients I'm working with has doubled just in the last three months. Now, when I ask myself, why did my clients double? There's two things that come up. Number one, the business foundations from Business by Design. That took me a year to build. That took some time. I was running plant-based beauty simultaneously. So maybe we'll go a little bit quicker for you. But like I said, building a business takes time. But that foundation paired with this massive visibility, this massive authority push has now led to my client list doubling. The number of clients I'm working with, the number of people who have signed up for my programs has doubled in the last three months because I've done all of this work to be seen as an authority. 
So this is the momentum, the exposure, the visibility, and the impact that you will learn how to create inside the Authority Bootcamp. So if you want to get into the nitty gritty of what's actually included in the Authority Bootcamp, you get four amazing bonuses absolutely free as long as you sign up for Business by Design using my link. The first bonus that you get is called Unleashing Your Inner Authority. This is how you can align your branding that attracts the right clients. So if you feel like you aren't attracting the right people, or if you're not attracting new people, or maybe you're not sure if your branding represents your unique style, your coaching style, your teaching style, what you stand for, or maybe your Instagram and website need a little bit of love, a little bit of attention, a little bit of a refresh, it's been neglected. In the Authority Bootcamp, you will get to work with my exclusive branding designer who will create branding that matches your vibe and the audience that you want to attract. So when you put that vibe on your website or social media, your target audience sees it, they know that you are meant for them. And what this means is you will work with my branding designer and you will walk away with a brand spanking new logo, brand colors, brand fonts that personify your authority and track your target audience. 100% one of the biggest game changers for me on Instagram to be seen as authority is not for me to just post whatever, whatever photo of me hanging around, sitting around. It is for me to actually use my brand colors in a cohesive strategy that when people land on my Instagram, they know I mean business. They know I am a coach, not some person who's trying to be a coach or some person who's dabbling and coaching. I am a coach. That is the level of authority that you will be able to exemplify once your branding aligns with your target audience and the vibes that you want to portray so you can attract the right people and actually step into that authority and that coach that you are. Now, the second bonus is called Step Into Your Thought Leader Era, which is so much fun because this is all about learning how to shift perspectives so your ideal client remembers you and is dying to work with you. So many coaches these days are literally saying the same things, going unnoticed, not remembered because honestly, their message is pure vanilla. I can't tell you how many posts I see on Instagram that, I'm sorry to say it, are just a little bit boring (laughs) and boring doesn't lead to sales. Vanilla doesn't lead to sales, especially in a world of brownies, sprinkles, whipped cream, some frosting, whatever you like to put on your ice cream. Plain old vanilla won't make you or your message memorable. It won't leave your audience with a strong impression of you. So they're going to move on and actually find another coach. The people that are signing up to work with specific coaches are because those coaches are shifting their perspectives. They're memorable. They're saying something bold. They're an authority. They're showing up in a particular way. If you are vanilla, if you are boring, if you are watered down, if you are reducing your message, if you don't know what to say, well, that 100% is going to defer any clients from really wanting to work with you because they want a leader. Like clients want someone who is going to guide them and support them and lead them along the way because they may be missing that in themselves or maybe they're working on that themselves. So the whole point of being a coach is to be that leader for them. So you have to show that in all of your content. So in the thought leader era, you'll learn how to identify the top beliefs that your ideal client has that's holding them back and how to actually shift their perspective so your message cuts through the noise, shows your authority, and leads them to be dying to work with you. So you'll walk away with messaging that compels your ideal clients into action that you'll take with you as I go through the final two bonuses that you get inside the Authority Bootcamp, which the next one is all about amplifying your visibility. And this is something that I do that has massively grown my clients and also my Instagram following joint venture webinars. So now that your branding is on point and you have perspective shifting messaging in place, so you actually align with your ideal client and are an absolute hell yes for them. Well, now it's just time to amplify your visibility and get in front of more people. The fastest and simplest way to grow your audience and grow your clients list is by partnering with other coaches in complementary fields for a joint venture webinar where you share your message with their audience and split the profits. That's exactly how that works. And in this module, you'll get my entire joint venture webinar outreach execution guide. So you have a roadmap that shows you how to get in front of fresh new faces, grow your email list, grow your Instagram following, and grow your client list through joint venture webinars. This is something that I've been doing that has led to so much exposure and so many amazing new clients coming into my world. So for example, 
I partnered with Carla Basinger. She is an Instagram coach and she has over 60,000 followers and she has people in her audience that are service providers and product-based businesses. Since she is an Instagram coach and she helps service providers, she's like, listen, I have product-based people in my audience. And I asked her, well, do you want to do a joint venture webinar? And we had, we did one in December and we're doing another one next month where I come to her audience, talk about Etsy, my very perspective shifting webinar. And then at the end, if anyone wants to work with me, cool, here's the link to enroll. And I split the profits with that person in exchange for them giving me exposure, exposure to their audience. Now, I'm also actually doing this next week. By the time this launches, I'll be preparing for it with Delianne, the money coach. Now, she has 195,000 followers on Instagram, and I'm going into her group program and sharing with them how they can use Etsy to grow their passive income. This is what being an authority is about. But to secure these joint venture webinars, you have to be an authority first, right? So that branding, that Instagram, that perspective shifting messaging has to be in place. And then when you go to these people with 60,000 followers, 195,000 followers, it's like, okay, cool. You're seen in this authority. You're seen as you know your shit and you're going to bring value to those people in their programs. And this is a beautiful way to grow your audience, expand your reach, and also get new clients. A beautiful, beautiful, beautiful way because these complimentary coaches in other fields, their people trust them. So when they bring you and endorse you, so much connection can be made right there, which is absolutely beautiful. And the final bonus that you get is about amplifying your visibility with podcast features. So what this means is you're going to get a plug and play podcast pitch template to get featured on other podcasts to amplify your visibility how to show your authority in a podcast pitch to get on other people's podcasts so you can share your perspective, shifting messaging, your story, your knowledge, and get exposed to their audience for those people to follow you, for those people to be your client, whatever that may be. But you also will be featured as a special guest on the Product Biz Podcast. So you have a compelling episode underneath your belt to show your authority and to help pitch yourself to other podcast hosts. So super excited to offer that because Going on other people's podcasts is huge. Such a great way to leverage, again, other communities and connections that have been built by being a special guest and sharing what you have to share. So these are the four bonuses that you get when you sign up for Business by Design. Using my link, you get access to the Authority Bootcamp, which includes branding, for you and your business, logo, colors, fonts, the vibe that will attract your target audience and show you as an authority thought leader era, how to create captivating, compelling perspective, shifting messaging. I'm going to talk you through the exact framework that I use to really get people to remember you and to remember your message. The third bonus is the joint venture webinar process, how to amplify your visibility. And the fourth bonus is getting featured on podcasts, how to amplify your visibility by pitching yourself to be on other people's podcasts. Now this is all free. You get this in addition to Business by Design. And what Business by Design is, it's a six module transformation process that will change you from an overwhelmed, overworked employee to a visionary digital CEO. And I've talked a little bit about BBD, but if you wanna get to more of the specifics about what's actually included, what's the transformation that you see, you will discover the self-sabotaging limiting beliefs that are hiding in your blind spots and jamming you up at every single step along the way. You get the clarity to focus on the right things in your business so you never waste your time on useless, unproductive tasks. You recognize exactly what your market wants and create online products that they will love. You get all the done-for-you processes that you need to build a real grown-up business, one that doesn't completely rely on you. You're put on the path to get results instead of just piling on more learning. And honestly, it turns everything that you think you know about how a successful business works upside down on its head. So any fears of failures that once held you back never hold you back again. When you join Business by Design, you get instant access to the six BPD training modules, videos, and exercises that transform you from the struggling employee mindset into the take charge digital CEO. And you get all of James's proven and profitable plug and play launch maps and execution guides, like I mentioned earlier, and six live group coaching sessions with James to answer your questions, clear up doubts, keep you motivated and on track. Plus, you get access to the Authority Bootcamp to make your biggest impact by gaining massive visibility, stepping into your authority so you get your message in front of more people and become a hell yes for your ideal clients. That is what you get 
if you enroll in Business by Design by end of day Thursday, June 15th, 2023. So if you are interested in partnering, getting the Authority Bootcamp, joining James's amazing program, here's all you have to do. Go to monicalittlecoaching.com slash BBD bonuses. That's BBD bonuses. Enroll in Business by Design by clicking the links on that page. You're going to see everything you need to know about the bonuses in BBD. Once you enroll, forward your enrollment confirmation to support at monicalittlecoaching.com. And then my team will email you back within 24 hours with your unique access to the Authority Bootcamp bonuses. And of course, as soon as you enroll in BBD, you'll get access to all of those content, all of that content from James and his team himself. So I just want to say thank you so much for listening to this episode. I know this was a little bit of a different topic and I took you through my journey of starting a coaching program and closing my product business to where I am now with my coaching business, the results I've seen, the impact that I'm making. And I honestly am just so grateful to be in a spot where I feel like I'm making a difference in the world. And I feel like I'm helping my clients and I feel like they're making transformation and they're seeing the results that they want and they're reaching their goals. And it's the most impactful, both for the people that I'm serving and also for how I feel that I'm doing my job and I'm living my purpose and my passion. And then we dived into talking a little bit about BBD and having James answer some some tough questions and give some tough love and also sharing with you that if you do enroll in Business by Design by the end of day this Thursday at monicalittlecoaching.com slash BBD bonuses, then you get the Authority Bootcamp Bundle absolutely free. And I'm excited to support you to help you grow your authority, your impact, your branding, your target audience getting on podcasts, getting on stages, all of that fun stuff. So if you have any questions at all about this, please let me know. You can reach out to me on Instagram, Monica Little Coaching, or you can send me an email at hello at monicalittlecoaching.com. And I'm so happy to answer any question, even if it's like, hey, is BBD right for me? I have no idea. I'll give you my honest opinion. 100% like I always do with anything, any questions that come in. So take it from me as an unbiased opinion. Um, I'll be here to just answer any questions and support you, but looking forward to hearing more. And if you're um, a coach on this path, or if you're thinking of being a coach going down this path, then all I can say is you are doing amazing things. You are changing people's lives and keep showing up, keep doing what you're doing and you'll see it all come to fruition exactly like how I have to. So with that, I just want to say thank you so much for listening to the Product Biz Podcast. I will catch you on the next episode.